Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to take a look at three satellite telescopes from the late 50s, early 60s maybe. Uh, and they were used in the Project Moonwatch, or at least ostensibly they were used in that program, although it's unlikely that some of these would ever have been actually used by anyone for anything other than decoration. But uh, they were sold in that era as a satellite scope, satellite telescope. So here we have these three examples. Some of these are rather rare and for a uh, good reason. This one is the Milben 4x5x50 uh, satellite scope. This is a TASCO 7x40 with a very unusual angle to it. Uh, I think that's totally unique. And then we have a Monolux 10x50. All three of these scopes are unusual in the fact that they are mounted on tripods, not the common thing. Mostly they would have been on some sort of a tabletop device uh, other than a tripod. So let's have a look at these interesting and fun little satellite telescopes. Okay, here's, here's the box for the TASCO satellite scope. It's kind of a velvet, kind of a, it's not real cloth, but it's a, it's a cardboard covered with a sort of a velvet thing. There's the instruction sheet. It's really not a manual, just one page. There's the telescope. Oh, look, it's even passed. This is a 7x40 telescope. A lot of times you see them without this dew shield device. Here comes the tripod. Tripod's a little strange. It's got this kind of a funky thing here. It drops down for some reason. I don't know why. And then you can hold it straight like that. I have no idea why they would do something like that. That's interesting. Strange. Oh yeah, I remember. Now you have to turn this on. This is a pain. So you're going to turn this down to some point, and then you're going to tighten it on like that. That's how you're going to have to work it. Notice the odd angle, about 120 degrees. None of the other ones do that. That's very unusual. Okay, let's have a look at the Milben 4.5 power by 50 millimeters aperture. Milbens are notoriously cheap telescopes. And this one is no exception. You may be able to tell how cheaply this is built. This is very tinny. There's your fancy focusing device there, namely none. It does have a nice big eyepiece on it, huge. So it's uh, an attempt to imitate the real deal. All right, let's put this on its mount. And looky here, there's an azimuth indicator. <laughs> Look at how wobbly that is. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to do anything or not. I think it's supposed to just walk around like that. I have no idea what that's for. It doesn't appear to be for anything. Okay, so this one, you're going to actually aim it down. Like a lot of other ones. I have no idea why they would put this up here, I have an indicator to indicate it up here. That's, I don't, I don't know. Okay, so now you can put it down to some angle, much like an Edmund. Maybe I'll put it next to an Edmund so you can see the comparison. Uh, I cannot convey to you <laughs> how flimsy this thing is. 
This is uh, <laughs> roll 10, I'm guessing. I have no idea. It may or may not be a first surface mirror. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> but boy, is I love it. It's, I would consider this to be one of the most collectible ones for that very cheesy, chintzy, cheap kind of an attribute that it has. Uh, I love it for that reason. It's a real toy in the old time sense. Well, let me show you something about this. I was playing with this a little bit and I figured out what this does. This has a terrible tendency. Look, at it wants to do that all the time. Talk about a poorly designed <laughs> telescope. But there was a purpose to this stupid thing here. Let me show you what it is. If you push it clockwise, ah, <laughs> this thing is so cheap. If you push it clockwise, it, it's loose. Now, if you want to tighten it up, you put it, <laughs> push it the other way. So when you push it the other way, that locks this. <laughs> How's that for friendly ergonomics? Mm -hmm. That makes good sense, doesn't it? But at least, <laughs> at least it has some purpose. It's not just decoration. Oh, jeez. This is the Monolux 10x50. It's on a little tripod mount. It's actually got very good optics. I've also seen scopes like this with a different brand on it. Uh, but it's uh, basically it's all the same scope. These mounts, by the way, are quite commonplace. As a matter of fact, this isn't the original mount for this. It didn't come with that, so I just supplied another one from another scope. No big deal. They're all pretty much the same. Anyway, um, the Monolux is actually a quality telescope, but it, it's got some limitations. Look, look at that. Uh-oh. Well, if your satellite is any higher than about 60 degrees, you're doomed. I guess uh, you'll never see it. Isn't that a shame? Cute little thing. Comparing the Monolux with the Milbin, the Milbin uh, appears to be much more a gigantic telescope by comparison. It's got a longer focal length um, and strangely a lower power, 4.5 power. I don't know what kind of eyepiece that is in there. It may be just from an old pop bottle, I don't know. Anyhow, this thing uh, is optically much better. The focuser is right here. This is a very nice little scope. If only the mount was better on this, this would be a real nice little telescope. This is of course um, no more than a toy, really. If we compare the Milbin with uh, an Edmund, now the Edmund is a uh, um, very common and, and quite useful, competent, so to speak, kind of a satellite scope. It was used by many clubs in an attempt to really measure the positions of satellites. I sort of doubt if the Milbin was ever used by anybody for anything. <laughs> Uh, they're the basic same idea. You have a mirror at a 45 degree angle and so forth. But it's pretty clear that the uh, Milbin was just a cheap imitation of this kind of scope. Here we have the Milbin set up next to the Tasco. Whole different kind of philosophy, although they're both on tripods. The Tasco, I'm not sure if it was really intended to be serious or not. Maybe it was, hard to tell. Uh, sure is unusual, this unusual dew shield and the 45 degree angle. The optics in the thing are pretty good. It's got a focusing eyepiece like so, unlike the <laughs> really funky. Of course, this is only 4.5 power, who cares? That's, that'd be plenty. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these charming little satellite telescopes from the late 1950s. Thank you for watching.